Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about JPA repository find one API, which is in which is supported in Spring Framework. Let me show you the hotel repository. This is my customized repository, and I have to just extend from the JPA repository with the entity class and the private key, primary key data type that is long. JP repository is coming from the spring framework if you see so first of all why do we need JP repository at all I just want to show you the boilerplate code if you don't use a spring data or JP repository from spring framework you have to write a lot of code like this you have to connect to the database you have to execute the query you have to get the result and iterate it and prepare your objects and close the connection exceptions all this stuff so this this is an example for boilerplate code if you want to avoid all this boilerplate code you can use spring data's jpa repository i've written a very simple code where it's going to create a hotel it's going to store the hotel and and using the id i'm going to fetch the hotel from the database and i'm going to show you in my database currently there is a hotel call table called hotel and if you see the hotel table is empty let me run this program so that it creates a hotel object and we are going to fetch that hotel using find one api and one more point i just want to mention here here in configuration file you have to enable this you have to add this annotation enable jpa repository in order jpa repository works in your spring application let me run this program in debug mode so i am starting my spring application oh annotation config application context will be created then i'm creating a hotel service then uh, before calling this find one method I am actually I'm creating a hotel and saving it then I'm doing a find all all hotel and, and I'm displaying it then I'll show you how exactly this find find one how exactly it works I'll show you Yes, if you see here, this is a proxy object which is injected by the Spring framework. If you see here, we have auto wired in my service layer. So I have auto wired repository object in my service layer, and I didn't write any code for all these methods, the basic methods like uh, so. Spring has generated code for all these basic methods. So I'm going to use one of the method called find one from the JPA repository. I didn't write any implementation code for this, but still I'll get a an object. Let me run this. Actually what happened? It has created the hotel and it has got the hotel since I didn't put the breakpoint here, it has deleted as well. So let me uh, debug this again. I just want to show you after calling the find one API in JPA repository, I want to show you how exactly the hotel object is retrieved using the JPA repository object. my context is creating created okay now find one method is called from the JP repository then we are going to get our hotel this is what this is what I want to show you can you see here we are able to retrieve the hotel details from the database using JP repositories find one API Hope this video is useful and informative. Thank you and all the best.